Hi there, welcome to Tersen. In this video, we'll continue our series on flow cytometry by taking a closer look at the Tersen software. We'll explore the user interface and get familiar with some key concepts. When you sign into Tersen, you'll start on your personal homepage. Tersen has a community section which you can access by clicking Explore. Here you see all of the projects which were made public by their owners. We've created a public flow cytometry project for this tutorial. It has all of the data sets and documents you need to recreate the examples in the video series. In Tersend, the clone icon allows you to take a copy of something and modify it without disturbing the original. I'll clone our project. A Tersend project has data, workflows, and documents. There are buttons to add each type, and you build up a project as you add elements. Notice we've already uploaded the data files and created some workflows. Supporting documents can be uploaded too. And if you create a file named readme.rmd, Tersen will display it as a web page for your project. This way you can publish information like abstracts, findings, and explanations, like we've done here. In Tersen, data analysis is done in workflows. So let's take a closer look at that. I'll create a new workflow called Concepts. Workflows start with a blank canvas, which you right click on to add steps. There are different types of workflow step, but you'll always start a workflow with the table step. Here are all the data files which we previously uploaded. I'll pick this B cell data set because it has a timestamp that we can look at in the projection. When the table is loaded to the workflow, right click on it and add more steps. They're automatically linked together. By linking steps in a chain, you manipulate and analyze your data. This time I'll add a data step. It opens in the crosstab projection screen. Factors are the groups of data from your uploaded file, listed by their header names. You see the data for measurement, time, and the signal channels. By picking factors up and dragging them to different parts of the screen, visual projections are drawn. You don't need to have any coding skills, Tersen does the calculations in the background. If I pick up a factor, elements of the screen go green to indicate where it can be dropped. This section is a control panel for how your data is filtered and displayed. This section is the crosstab grid, where your data is laid out. The inside boxes are the X and Y axes of a biaxial plot, and the outside boxes are row and column concepts for sorting and parsing the data. Let's take measurement and put it on the y-axis. Now all of the measurements from all of the signal channels are graphed out in one cell. The sort order defaults from lowest to highest. By dragging and dropping other factors, we can structure the measurement data and define our projection. For example, if we take time and put it to the column concept, we can see the progression of the channel measurements as they're collected. I'll just drag these grid lines closer to resize our projection. Now, if I put channel to the row concept, it will separate the measurements by their signal channels, like forward scatter and side scatter. Now we have a projection of our measurements by channel over time. Let's zoom in a little to see that some time slots have two measurements. We can split these further because each measurement has a unique event ID. Multiple factors can be moved to the column or row to divide the data further. Pay attention to how you order them though, because Tersen sorts from outside to inside on the crosstab grid. I could put event ID above time, but I'll put it below because I want time to determine the order. Now that we have our data laid out, we can visually enhance it. For example, we can color the data points by dragging measurement to colors and change the graph style to heat map. In heat maps, higher values have the hot colors and lower values are the cold colors. We can see from this heat map that forward scatter and side scatter are very strong. Let's save our step and link back to our workflow where we can give it a name. Now I'll add another step to perform a stats technique on our data. We'll duplicate the heat map and modify it. In Tersen, stats techniques are called operators. There's a suite of them preloaded, and a bioinformatician can program their own operators 
and upload them to Tersound 2. You add them to a projection with this plus button. I'll choose ACE and H to perform a scaling transformation on my data. This button sets the operator's parameters. Traditional flow cytometry has a scaling cofactor of 15, so I'll set it to that. Press run. Note the green dot on a data step tells you it's run successfully. An error will show as a red dot, and no dot means the process hasn't run yet. By adding a data step to my ACE and H calculation, I can make projections using the results it calculated. Tersen passes all information down from a parent data step to the one link below it. See, both the original factors and the results of the operator are available. Tersen even tries to anticipate the analysis you want to do based on the previous step. It has switched in the ACE and H values where previously we had the measurement values. Also, the scale is now in tens instead of thousands. If we color by the ACE and H results, and make a heat map out of that, we can now see a more balanced projection due to the scaling transformation. The forward scatter and side scatter are still strong, but the colors are now relative to the other channels. So now we see our workflow is building up. This is Tersen's main concept. You can add steps to do different things to your data, different projections, transformations, or annotations until they end up as an overall map of your cytometry experiment. Like this one, for example. So that's a quick overview of Tersen's functionality, so you can understand the cytometry example workflows a little easier. If you want to learn more about creating projects and making projections, check out our how-to playlist on YouTube. It has lots of practical breakdowns to get you started. Thanks for watching.